Hi, my name is Ross, here with customer service for the City of Worcester's Department of Public Works and Parks. Winter can be tough on all of us, and the snow season presents some significant challenges for residents in our city. That's why I'm here with some snow information to help us get through our toughest season. Because we frequently rank as one of the snowiest cities in the country, here in Worcester, we are serious about winter snow and ice control. The city has two kinds of winter parking bans to restrict street parking so that we can keep roads open and essential traffic moving. A permanent ban applies to main streets and emergency arteries. On streets with a permanent ban, there is no parking on one or both sides of the street between 2 a.m. and 6 a.m. during the posted dates and also when a snow emergency is declared any time of day or night. A declared parking ban will be in effect on all remaining public streets. The declared ban means that parking is allowed on both sides of the street until the winter parking ban is put into effect. You can expect the ban to be put into effect whenever inclement weather is forecasted. The declared ban is different for every street and may change for different sections of the same street. It may restrict parking on the even side, the odd side, or possibly both. Illegally parked vehicles are the biggest obstacle to our snow removal efforts. Vehicles in violation of a parking ban will be tagged and towed at the owner's expense. Please support our efforts by parking your vehicle in accordance to the winter parking bans. Call customer service or follow this link to find out what your street's parking ban is. You may also choose to sign up through the city's website to enroll in our Alert Worcester notification system. During the winter, anyone enrolled in the Alert Worcester system will be notified when the declared parking bans are placed into effect and when they are lifted. Please remember that when the snow does begin to fall, we need the roads to be cleared of traffic so that we can plow all city streets both public and private, to meet city standards. Please try to stay off the roads and avoid driving unless it's absolutely necessary. We're here with Jim Kempton, Assistant Director of Street Operations. So how do we prepare for a snowstorm in the city? As we know that we have a plowable event coming and we want to prevent the snow from bonding to the asphalt and what we will use for that is road salt and we'll typically put that down after the first dusting on our main arteries, our bus routes and special side streets that have an extreme grade and uh, what we're trying to do is prevent the snow from bonding to the asphalt. Uh, as opposed to melting it from the top down. We just want to prevent that from bonding, makes it a lot easier to plow. Sure. So when do we usually start plowing for a storm? Well, typically we pull the trigger to go plowing at two inches of snowfall. Uh, but there are a lot of factors that can change that depending on intensity of the storm, uh, the time of day, uh, whether the snow is wet heavy or uh, a drier type of snow. We try to get out there as in a reasonable hour and uh, we want to get the streets cleared as quickly as we can and as, as efficiently as we can. So does every street in the city get sanded? Uh, no. Uh, typically at the end of the storm we sand only the side streets that have a grade to them. Um, unless we have an ice event, in which case we may sand all of them. And how long after the snowfall ends do we continue plowing? Ballpark range, probably four to six hours after the final flake has fallen, we'll still be out there uh, plowing and pushing back. Thank you very much, Jim. We appreciate all your help and for all your work. Thank you. Thank you. Up next, we'll talk a little bit more about what you can do to help us out during the winter. Worcester residents can also pick up sand at no charge from any of our three yardway sites located on Millbury Street, Clark Street, and Chandler Street. Property owners are responsible for keeping their sidewalks clear of snow and ice. Owners must provide at least a four foot wide path to pedestrian traffic within 10 hours after the snow stops falling. Failing to clear sidewalks is a violation of city ordinance and is punishable by a fine. Because shoveling snow can be demanding for some residents, 
there are some organizations throughout the city that will volunteer to help clear sidewalks for a small donation or fee. Follow this link for the contact information of those organizations. In addition to sidewalks, you can help by making sure fire hydrants are kept clear of snow and ice at approximately a three foot radius. This can save precious minutes in case of an emergency. After the snow is accumulated, the city's catch basins can regularly become blocked by snow and ice. During the snow melt, blocked catch basins can cause flooding conditions both in the roads and on abutting properties. You can help prevent flooding on your street by keeping catch basins clear after each snowfall. Remember, you can always stay connected by calling our customer service center at 508-929-1300 or by visiting our website at www.worcesterma.gov. For regular public works and parks updates and notifications, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Here are some additional resources to keep handy in the event of an emergency. Thank you for taking the time to review our winter procedures with us, and thank you in advance for your cooperation. We look forward to working with you to keep the city clear of snow and ice this winter. Remember, be patient, be prepared, and stay informed.